namaste witches or hello baby baby besties i put out a new beanie baby video today i filmed it last night i edited it last night i watched the stranger things marathon and i slept until noon okay listen listen friends witches besties i'm reading a book I love it. I got it at the library. It's very important to take books out of the library, which like I'm struggling with because I want to own it now. Like I want to find anyways, you know how you have that moments when it's like everything comes together and an idea hits you like a lightning bolt and you're like, ready to go there's that creativity you can either hop on that train or let the idea go to somebody else right so here we go i was reading money spells wait first back up i was looking up tea recipes i was looking up things to do with my mint i'm looking up things to do with my lavender how to care for it i'm looking up things to do with my tiger lilies how to care for it where and when to take off the deadheads, etc. Fertilization of lilies. Um, and then what I'm going to plant after. Okay, anyways, this spell book has been um, keeping me company for a couple hours now. Maybe? I, I don't know what time it is. So here, and I am grateful for that privilege. Yes, indeed. This morning... Patrick came to me and said, we are out of money. His paycheck is only lasting him one week. We need to cut down on our spending and pay attention to this. Um, and of course we do, like it was just the new moon. I just got that. Uh, abundance, planning and gratitude. So then he's trying to have like five other conversations with me and I'm still in the mode like we need to fix the finances. Like I wasn't wanting to cuddle after that. I was like, we need to get to work. And that put me and it, like I was feeling bad about myself because I don't have an income right now. I don't have a job right now. So <sighs> let's skip all that and tell you what I'm excited about because I'm excited about something and I really love it. I have a huge Beanie Baby collection. They've got to go. They're in my way. I want to keep some of them. I have too many. I want to sell them. I need money and I need my time to be valued in an energy exchange of cash purchases. I mean, just cash. Like, not Bitcoin. Um, I was watching that today. <laughs> Bailey's Uh The Dark History of Silk Road. Go watch it. Okay. Beanie Babies or Bitcoin. You know, now I'm thinking maybe they... Actually, it was after Beanie Babies. Um, I'm thinking about the years now. Like Silk Road was like around 2011 like those years, and Beanie Babies were back in the 90s. Get to the fucking point. I was reading Money Spells, and you know what? I would like to share with you, that with you right now. And then I will come back to the dolls, because they're on the next page, and I'm so glad I saw it. Okay, here we go. Money Miracle Mantra. Start your day with this mantra. A money miracle happens to me today. Repeat throughout the day. Repeat throughout the day. Miracles come in many forms and sizes. Accept each miracle as it arrives, large or small. A money miracle happens to me today. A money miracle happens to me today. Always state the mantra in the present tense. You'll know when you no longer need it because you'll discover that you've stopped chanting it. 
and the money magnet spell. Anoint a horseshoe with magnet oil. Hold it in your hands, focus on your desire and make a wish. Still holding a horseshoe, chant something like, I attract money like a magnet. I attract wealth like a magnet. I attract prosperity like a magnet. I am a money magnet. I am a wealth magnet. I am a prosperity magnet. Sprinkle the blended magnetic sand and money drawing powder. Wrap it in fabric and put it beneath your pillow. Pay attention to your dreams for your financial inspiration and insight. Then I came over here. The corn husk doll money spell. Start the spell at the new moon. Make a doll dried from dried corn husk, tying her with green yarn and sticking a cash bill inside. Visualize her pregnant with riches. Wrap the doll in velvet and hide her in a safe, dark place so that the money can germinate and grow. When the full moon arrives, burn the doll accompanied by prayers, petitions, and incantations that the money she's incubating should materialize in your hands. Uh, here's an elaborate doll spell. Form a small doll from a square of green fabric. Cut out an outline of the doll, sew it up with green and gold thread, leaving a space to stuff the doll. Make the stuffing from comfrey, king fern, and king's root. You could also stuff with spirit money. Write a note on a little piece of butcher's paper, something like, I require blank, fill in the blank, amount plus some extra. I need this immediately to meet my needs. I require... A million dollars, think big, is a dream, is a spell. I require a million dollar plus some extra. I need this immediately to meet my needs. That sounded really bossy. I require a million dollars plus some extra. I need this immediately to meet my needs. I require a million dollars plus some extra. I need this immediately to meet my needs. I need this immediately to meet my needs. I require 2,000 for that, 1,000 for that, 1,000 for that, 10,000 for that, 20,000 for that, 80,000 for that. 80,000 for that, 20,000 for that. I'm literally just listing off our really basic needs. I need a million dollars plus some extra. I need this immediately to meet my needs. This is just going to have to be rewritten. These are not. Yeah. Stick it inside the doll. Use a money oil to dress the doll or fast luck oil if you're really in a hurry. Wrap up the doll with green cloth. Anoint the doll with oil daily until your need has been fulfilled. Then burn the doll. Repeat from scratch as needed. Ooh, I didn't read that before. Okay, here we go money dolls. Despite the stereotypical voodoo dolls, I have a million dolls. I'll have a million dollars. It will meet my needs. Despite the stereotypical voodoo doll, dolls are most frequently used in spells as magical helpers of one sort or another. Fertility dolls magically help increase reproductive capacity. Healing dolls magically restore health and well-being. Money dolls are magically generate wealth and financial inspiration. Cut out the shape you desire from green flannel. The doll could be a person, an elephant, a leprechaun, mermaid, or whatever you envision. It's a bee. It doesn't have to be just teddy bears. It doesn't have to. It can also be a chocolate mousse. Stuff it with dill weed or Irish moss. Then sew it up and embellish it as desired. Talk to the doll.
tell it your troubles and request advice before you go to sleep. Pay attention to your dreams. All right. We have to make this our own. I could cut a slit and put a zipper in. How many of those can I make in what amount of time? I could slit it open, oh, slit it at the throat, and then it can wear a necklace, and most of them have ribbons, and I will put inside of it so much. You can do so much with these. These are so customizable. Fertility dolls, healing dolls, wealth, health, well-being dolls. <sighs> this one makes a really good eye pillow too, even without customizing it, but uh, wouldn't it be lovely to have some lavender? Lavender in the doll. Actual lavender plants, rosemary, mint. I mean, the choices are endless. These are beans, but we can add salt. Black protection salt. Oh, another witchy thing I did today is today is the first of the month. So I used some of this protection salt that I have and it is specifically, it looks like rosemary, peppercorns, probably sea salt, possibly kosher salt though. Kosher salt is like among witches because it is blessed. Um, but sea salt, anything that's like, um, the, the least processed, the better. So, I sprinkled this in on the doorway for protection. Oh, I have this pineapple sage that can go in a bean, baby. I'm really. I'm excited to be able to include a spell with this poem. This, you know, the more I'm thinking about it, the, like the bigger this operation could be. Like I could have a whole team. I could be the CEO. Um, I need a business manager. Is this even legal? Am I gonna get in trouble with copyrights and stuff? Cause it's repurposing. I don't know, you guys. I don't want to have to pay taxes because I'm mad that big corporations don't pay taxes. Um, I do like taxes though because I think that we should be funding our public schools and we should be funding um, a social services for our neighbors, for the people in our communities, in our state, in our country. I think that the train is leaving. That really like wore me out. I have very low energy right now. I'm very calm, but I don't I don't know if this is a good idea. I think it is a really good idea. I don't think the timing is right. I don't think I should be starting something brand new like that already. Unless I, okay, I can make a couple prototypes here and there. 
But my kids really need me, and I've been thinking about that a lot lately. About how, like, it was just Father's Day, so I was thinking about my relationship with my dad and what, um, I just, I just always, like, he was such a workaholic. I just wish that he wasn't at work so much. Like, I wish that he was home with us more. But, yeah, now I'm sad all of a sudden. And hot. Really freaking hot. This is me coming back into my body. I don't want to be in my body, though. It's much better just to live in my mind. Totally forgot the camera was back on. This is done. <laughs> 